guys, welcome back to another GeekerWatt video and in this video I'm finally going to give you a tour of our new ultimate YouTube studio and office space. If you haven't already checked out the videos we made moving into this space you can find those in the card section here but I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this series ebuy.com. They sell loads of PC hardware and consumer electronics at some great prices for my UK peeps and I'll link everything that I talk about today at eBuyer down in the description below. They also have a range of RTX 3000 series by their in-house system brand AlphaSync in stock right now. So check those out at the links down below. But let's kick off the tour, shall we? Now we'll start over here. This is actually Jake's desk. And you can see Jake has got the most ridiculous desk ever. This is a video editor's desk of dreams. He has got three 32 inch curved gigabyte monitors, once again provided by our friends at eBuyer and at Gigabyte. These things are absolutely insane for video editing and he has the most baller setup I have ever seen. Now over here, this is Dan's setup. Dan is not in today, so um, you don't get to see Dan, but this is his setup. He's got an LG HDR IPS ultra wide. This thing's amazing. The color definition on it is absolutely fantastic. He is thus in charge of all color grading here for Geek Watt videos because he has a super color accurate monitor with a little extra monitor on the side. Now, if we head over here, this is my desk. You can tell it's my desk because it's the messiest of any desk in the office. Uh, I've got this really nice MSI GK50 low profile. It's a really nice low profile mechanical keyboard. I also have an ultra wide. Mine is from MSI uh, with some nice peripherals from Corsair. This is their new Qatar XT. And I also have the M65 RGB Elite because we all know that is the king of gaming mice. Now, if you haven't already noticed as well, these are the chairs we all use in the office. We all have Herb Miller Aerons and we've even labeled them with our own names on because everyone adjusts their own settings and then isn't happy when someone nicks the chair. But these are amazing. They're stupidly expensive. But if you work in an office like, like I do, sometimes 50 plus hours a week, these things are a complete lifesaver. I went through so many chairs, but these things are absolutely awesome. Spinning around over here, one member of the team that isn't today is Harry. Now, Harry's over here. How's it going, Harry? Doing well, doing well. How are you? I'm not too bad, so I've thrown Harry off guard now, he's in the middle of work. This is Harry's desk, Harry's got two 165 hertz MSI monitors, these things are insane. And then he also has this really nice 4K one, so Harry does all the benchmarking and stuff and basically any odd jobs that need doing. This channel is more of a beast than you lot realise at home. Now, follow me in here, we've gone through the desk, what about this space? Now through this glass door, we had all this fitted out, this glass wasn't in here before. This is our dedicated studio space. Now, over here, this is the main recording desk. This is where we film all the Geek Watt videos. This desk is actually electric, which means I can stand up for videos, I can sit down. If we've got a big project going on, I can make the desk lower. This space is absolutely awesome. And behind here, we also have these shelves I built the other day. I'm very proud of these. And if you take a look at this, oh yes, the shelves light up. On the wall here, we've also got some really nice metal prints from Display. Not a sponsorship or anything like that, but they're awesome and look absolutely fantastic. Spinning round, over here we have all the production gear that we need to make the videos possible. We've got the first of our two lights, the other ones through there in the office space. We've got C stands, we've got basically everything that you guys don't really see that has to happen behind the scenes in order for these videos to basically be possible at all. Now there is one thing that I do want to show you all that I haven't actually had a chance to show you just yet. And that, believe it or not, is not the Nanoleaf G, or that's cool. It is this. Now, as you can see, we have a bit of a storage problem here at the office. These are two shelves. There's another one over there. And basically, this handles all the inventory we need for videos. Now, I have people ask me, James, why do you need so much stuff? Now, if we make one build a week, that means we get through a minimum of 36 components every single month. So when people say, what happens when you, we finish with a build? We don't sell it. We take the parts apart. We separate them out and then we reuse them for other build videos that's why you'll see me use you know i don't know an asus tough 3070 in three build videos because you know we can't afford to be buying three of these and there's no stock of them anywhere now some of these rtx samples aren't to keep unfortunately i know very sad some of them most of them actually have to go back however we try and keep hold of them for videos and we try and make sure we kind of get the content out there on them i know the stock situation with them is really difficult as i say alpha sync have got some really great 3000 series systems that you hopefully should be able to buy a little bit quicker than the cards themselves. Stock on the cards is like gold dust at the minute. And hopefully if the crypto stuff kind of calms down and Elon Musk stops putting Bitcoin in his Twitter bio, then you never know. We might stand a chance of actually being able to buy some graphics cards, hopefully by the time summer rolls around. Of course, we have the famous fridge. What is what is in a YouTuber's fridge? There is healthy butter, Robinson squash, Jake's lunch. I won't touch Jake's lunch. And that's it. 
It's quite a boring fridge. I think you're probably expecting like Red Bull and champagne and lots of fun stuff, but sadly not. And on that note, I think that pretty much wraps it up for our studio office tour. If you have enjoyed this video, you want to see how we got from our old space on your screen now to this space, then check out the Move series. And a big thank you to eBuyer.com for kindly sponsoring this thing, making it possible, sending us an immense amount of cool technology to kick this office out. We really do appreciate it. Thank you for watching though, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Not the next office. I hate moving. We're not moving again. Never again.